Hello and welcome to the Superscript New Comic Book Minute for the week of Wednesday the 6th of July. Uh, we are here filming this on the 5th of July when some new DC books come, came out and then we're going to talk about what's coming out tomorrow on the 6th. So we'll start with the DC books. Um, I have absolutely no idea what to expect out of the Black Adam movie, so I'm going to read the... You'll expect The Rock. Yeah, nice. I mean, other than that, looks very much like The Rock. Uh, so these uh, Justice Society files, Hawkman number one, is a series of one-shops that are an official prelude to the movie, so I'm going to get caught up on that, so I have some level of expectation for what that film is, other than The Rock being charismatic and, you know, fun. Um, Dark Crisis. Uh, I usually am not a big events guy, really liking this crisis event so far. So the Zero Issue and the Number One were both great. So Number Two, Joshua Williamson, Don't Let Me Down, excited, liking the idea of the new Justice League. Um, probably the thing I am most excited for as far as like mainstream superhero comics are concerned this week, we have Batman. This is Batman issue 125, but I am very excited about it because this is a new creative team. We have Menez and the one, the only, Chip Zdarsky writing Batman. If you've been enjoying his Daredevil run, I think it's time you start reading Batman. But or some of his other Batman. Yeah, other his other mm -hmm. Batman stuff, the Urban Legend stuff he's read. Mm -hmm. It's Chip Zdarsky. He's one of, you know, the now he's on main Batman. Credit to the industry as a whole. Yeah, very, uh, very excited to read what he's doing with Batman, and just excited to be back on mainline Batman again. I'd kind of fallen off of it uh, after towards the end of Tynan's run, so I'm, I'm, I'm ready for Batman back in my life. And then finally, we have one trade from DC that I want to call it this week: the Suicide Squad uh, Get Joker. This was a black label book by Brian Arzello, uh, and I can never pronounce his name the same way twice, but uh, it was good. Check it out. Uh, now in a hard, beautiful hardcover. Uh, and then moving on to books that are going to be out on Wednesday the 6th. Um, I'll just keep going here. Um, this is, uh, we have Absolution. This is a new AWA book. Uh, if you can't tell by the cover, it's a cyberpunk book uh, with this loving homage to Blade Runner on the front. And AWA puts out some really rad stuff. Uh, this looks great. I am excited to check it out. I always am a sucker for cyberpunk stuff. Uh, Scotty Young, Kyle, Kyle Stram, uh, Twig. The first two issues have been just like one of the most fun books I've read in a long time. Uh, Real Hero's Journey with some of the best art I've ever seen. Um, yeah, and it's not even Scotty Young drawing, which is, is saying something. Uh, but yeah, so this is definitely worth checking out. I think, think we still have some copies of issue one and definitely some copies of issue two on the shelf. I think this is going to be a special thing in comics that you're going to want to have been along for the ride on. So if you aren't, aren't picking up yet, definitely start. And if you got kids, this is like, they should be reading this. Um, the Closet, uh, James Tynan's new horror book, uh, issue one was great. Uh, so kind of, about kids. Yeah, also about kids. Uh, but yeah, kind of a slow burn, issue one. Excited to see where it goes. Um, you know, James Tynan horror book, I will always read. And so far, issue one of this reminded me why I always do that. And then uh, finally, very, or not finally, sorry, second and finally, uh, we've got uh, Mind Management uh, Bootleg. So a new book in the Mind Management franchise uh, by Matt Kent. Um, Matt Kent, who you might also know, writer of Berserker with uh, unknown newbie comic writer Keanu Reed. Um, but anyways, Matt Kent has written a ton of great stuff, including the original Mind Management, so this is more in that universe. Um, I don't believe you need to have read the original Mind Management to enjoy this, but uh, for those of you who are fans... You don't even need to be able to read. I think you do have to be no. able to read. Um, yep. Nah. Can Sorry. verify reading required. Um, but, uh, speaking of things you need to be able to read probably should read uh i am really really stoked for liam sharp's starhenge so this is like a sweeping science fantasy epic uh it's just getting started if you look at the back of the book the praise for this book from likes of kelly c dominic michael conrad brian michael bendez dave gibbons like everybody you love and respect in comics saying this is like truly something uh special uh yeah, it was enough for me to give it a shot. I, I've actually read this already, and it is, yeah, it is unbelievable. And their art is also just, like, next level good. Um, I mean, it is all written and illustrated and lettered by Liam Sharp, too, which is not something wow. you see very often. Um, but, yeah, this is really cool. Uh, how about you? 
Well, let's see. I'll start off with some number ones here. We've got Aftershocks. There's something wrong with Patrick Todd. So Patrick Todd has some, uh, I guess, I guess you could say mental issues, but they are also like psychic abilities. Um, but they're causing Patrick Todd lots of trouble, and they now live a life of crime, trying to get get this stuff sorted out. You know. So there's something wrong with Patrick Todd. Looks interesting. Uh, then we've got Prodigy, The Icarus Society. This is a new one by Mark Millar. Um, so uh, this is the world's smartest man uh, surrounded by, I guess, a, a sort of uh, criminal society of other geniuses. So they get into a lot of bad, Does he bad stuff. Gorilla together. hands. Uh, you know, I wasn't gonna bring it up. Okay. Um, he's pretty sensitive about it, but he appears. <laughs> He appears to have gorilla hands. No, uh, I don't know. I, I, you know, on the cover, I thought at first those were like gloves. But uh, are they gorilla hands? I, it's hard to Nothing say. Nothing about the story makes seem like he should have gorilla hands. But find out if he is, if his hands are like a gorilla, or if he just has a. See, I thought it was just like a furry end of his coat, but yeah, it's. Just, I mean, they have fingernails. Uh, it's hard to say. Reminds me of a uh, premise from a uh, well a older, great Mark Millar book called Super Crooks. So. Okay, yeah. Cool. Well, but this one's got potential gorilla right. hands. So, Prodigy, check that out. To see what that's all about. Then, a new one from Ablaze. We've got Promethe. 1313? I don't know. I, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to say that funny, because it's spelled kind of funny. Promethe. Promethe. Um... But yes, so this is a um, sort of apocalyptic story uh, that the end is coming. Uh, find out what happens when the end of the world, uh, or when the, end, the world changes, I guess. Not when the end, when it changes in an apocalyptic way. So, Promethe, 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 1313. Okay, then we got some number twos and so on. Actually, they're all number twos. We got James Patrick's Astronaut Down. This was, this was a big one from just a few weeks ago. Another Aftershock book, James Patrick's uh, Kaiju Score. Uh, writing a new, uh, I guess, uh, sci-fi thing. So, very much like the first one. Uh, some very fun, uh, not very fun, some very, I don't know what. Um, it's fun. In, in uh, this, this, page I just happened to turn to has got kind of a crazy layout. But anyway, great stuff there. Astronaut down. Number two, we still got number one. All these we still have number one. We've got The Ward, a dark horse book. Um, this one is a um, emergency uh, ward in a, I don't know exactly what it's called, um, in, a, in a hospital for um, like monsters and fantasy creatures and, uh, and so on. So where the Loch Ness Monster goes, if you'd like, you know. Yeah. His brain is angry. Yeah. So, The Ward, if you're looking for some kind of drama like that, but with some fantasy-type creatures, The Ward may be for you. The Loch Ness Monster has an answer. He does, yeah. Um, then, we've got Captain America Sentinel of Liberty. So, this is one of the two Captain America books going on right now. Um, this one is, who's on this? Joe Kelly? Uh, Jackson Lansing Colin and Colin Kelly. Kelly. Okay, uh, so I thought it might be Joe Kelly. It's a different Kelly, but anyway, Captain America. <laughs> both of these have been uh, this one and uh, Symbol of Truth have, have both been really good. So yeah. if you're looking for some new Captain America series, both of those are um, still early on in their runs. Um, then we've got Jane Foster and the Mighty Thor number two. Once again, just in time for whenever that new movie comes out. So brush up on some some Thor and some Jane Foster here with that. And then DC's uh, Poison Ivy, finally long overdue, getting her own book in a while. Uh, G. Willow Wilson on this one. So very exciting, uh, excellent uh, art in this one. Um, if you're looking for some Poison Ivy, everyone loves Poison Ivy. But she's always kind of, you know, playing second string to someone. Now she's got her own book. That's called Poison. I love you, Will. Awesome. I'm yeah. excited about it. So those. Oh, and then one last one. A new trade this week. We've got Lore Olympics Volume 2. This is a hit uh, webtoon series. 
um, and also New York Times bestselling series. Uh, it's kind of like a, I guess, modern take on um, Greek mythology. Um, so Greek mythology, but um, dealing with some very kind of modern subject matter yeah. and whatnot. Um, yeah, so the art in this one is also quite excellent. Uh, this is by Rachel Smythe, or Smith. So Lore Olympics Volume 2. So check that out and all the other books that we've got this week. And uh, we will see you soon.